the performer out there takes the risk. And I always say to everyone, if the lights should go out, if the roof, the electricity, the sound fails, I can still perform and hold the audience. There was a certain point where I knew that I had this beautiful documentary material that would be surprising and full of different levels of different kind of calibrations of graceness. And then I said, Grace, I can't finish this film without your performance. I watched a lot of her performances and I talked to her a lot about what performance, what she liked and what, and I, I started, I sort of re I understood that the, the theater mattered to her as a space, it, the intimacy of the theater. I kind of assessed, well, the documentary material goes all over the world, it goes all different day, night. The performance has to be an anchor that you return to, but at the same time, each song, like in a musical, sort of, you know, explore a theme through through music, through, the, through her songs, using her biographical songs that are, some of them explicitly biographical. You know, for me, it was really important that we shot on film because it just responds to light in a different way. So, you know, I work with this cinematographer, Remco Schnur, who's from Holland, and I've done all my films that, I've, that have required more than my, my filming I've done with him. And you know he was. We worked, We spent seven days in a small black box theatre, uh, and lit the whole show and created a show that would never be seen ever again. I mean, that's not a show that's ever been seen before and possibly will never actually be kind of toured. So I was kind of just building a picture in my head of the way to approach it, and to light it very simply, and to give her the space to move. And, you know, you'd be amazed how difficult it is to make sure that there's a platform to, for her to perform on where the monitors that she's listening to aren't clipping her legs off when she passes them. Like, making it really as clean and graphically, kind of having that graphic cutting edge that we kind of associate with her aesthetic. So we really just created a show that in, I was thinking, this is like, I'm trying to make Grace's theatre performance dream come true.